Hello, Stephen from Xclaim Tech News. So what I'm looking at today, it's, it's going to be a fairly quick video, but it's something which, you know, we most of us probably don't even think about is uh, cooling our M.2 SSDs. And perhaps most of us don't think, well, how hot can these things get? We tend to focus on the graphics cards and the CPUs. But, you know, they do get pretty hot at times. So uh, particularly probably the, uh, the PCI Express one. So I've got a little uh, heat sink uh, one here. It's, uh, it's a Gnome Tech. Uh, 560 watt uh, meter Kelvin um, M.2 SSD heatsink. So they come in uh, a little plastic bag, they're only about $10, so dirt cheap. So uh, let's just see what's inside. There you go, see, good old uh, Chinese instructions. Good. No idea of how to weed that, so that's not going to happen. So here you got uh, obviously. Some kind of a sticky pad, cleaning wipes. It's tissue tape and a cleaning cloth. And here is just a, an aluminium uh, little heat sink. To establish a baseline, I ran Crystal Dismark and uh, Atto Benchmark a couple of times on the drives to see what the max temperature is. And looking at this, the SATA drive was maxed out at 51 degrees. Running the same test on the PCI Express drive, and we get a max temperature of 72 degrees. Okay, so here's my uh, C drive, which is the PC, uh, PCI Express SSD. Peel off. Comes with a wet and dry wipe. Just to clean off. It looks like a half a millimeter thick thermal pad. And then just stick the, uh, the heat sink onto here. And that's it. Put it back in the, in the laptop. Now performing the same crystal disk mark and Atto test, and we see that the temperature drops down to 65 degrees. So this reduction of 7 degrees is great and certainly would add value if you've got a fast PCI Express drive. I believe a SATA drive uh, would be okay, that they're not as fast. So, But certainly if you've got a PCI Express drive, it's worth a consideration. So as you saw on my PCI Express drive, it uh, did uh, give a good 7 degrees uh, cooler temperature, uh, you know, at max load. So I think that is a good win. Now, of course, if your drive is even faster, then that might benefit you even more. Or if you've got a very sort of thin laptop where the cooling isn't very good, you might see some good benefits there as well. Now, um, I did try putting it on my uh, SATA drive, but uh, it, once you put this on, it is uh, stuck on for good. So bear that in mind. And it does add a bit extra thickness, probably about uh, one eighth of an inch. So it doesn't sound much, but um, it is probably just a bare you know, minimum on my, on my laptop here, the Sager, where the keyboard goes over the top. Any thicker, then I'd be a bit stuck. Uh, probably most laptops where it's actually uh, you know in the base, you're probably fine, but that's worth bearing in mind. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.